protecting us from Corona are these little masks you can get at Home Depot. I got mine at Walgreens, whatever you happen to have. And normally you get these little off brand masks. Like you don't get to pick like, oh, mine's hefty or mine's made by Clorox or whatever. No, uh, it's got uh, the Japanese or the Chinese writing on the bottom and uh, Machiplex USA, uh, 50 masks. Mask is designed to be breathable, is not designed to form an airtight seal, and not intended for medical or surgical use. Well, that got me thinking. I got these masks back when uh, it was really hard to get masks, meaning like as soon as they started, um, as soon as they started stocking the shelves, like I, I didn't order them special or anything. So anyway, there's some uh, German company called Trotec, and they're saying how to spot if you actually have a good or a bad mask. And there's four easy steps, and I want to see if this mask, you get a 50 pack for 20 bucks at Wal Walgreens or wherever you go, is actually a good mask. You know, I mean, I don't feel like it is. You know how many times it's separated from here because the glue's cheap and everything. So step number one is, does it form to your nose? Is there like a little metal band up in this part? And the answer on this particular mask is yes. I don't know if you could see that, but there is a band here that you can bend and it'll stay the form. I'm not one of those rich YouTubers who have dual camera purpose things or whatever. So this this already passed one of four tests. The second thing is to hold it like a coffee filter and open it up a little bit. Then the next step is to pour water in it. These are supposed to be waterproof. So I'm going to try to do this at the same time. Hopefully I don't they didn't put like a, a ton of water in but I want you to see water going in here. There, I put water in there and uh, it's not dripping. There's, see, I'm under here, it's not dripping. I'm rolling the water around and this is test two. So this, uh, here, let me empty it out. I act, oh, oh, really? Okay, well, anyway, <laughs> uh, so that's two tests. And it's not just my mask, it's also your mask. The next test, what we do is we, we bring this back together into a mask looking thing. And it's gonna require some tools, but they're, they're pretty cheap if you have a dollar store near you. You're gonna need a pair of scissors. And what we wanna do, there's supposed to be three layers to this. So we're gonna cut the mask open and expose those three layers. So we're gonna take this part and throw it away. Does this mask have three layers? Well, we have one, and this does have three layers, but it's very hard to get, there we go, two and three. All right, so we see there are three layers and this middle layer is not supposed to be paper. If it's paper, then it's not protecting you supposedly. And it kind of looks like paper, but it kind of doesn't. So part four of the test, now that we know we actually have three different filters, is it flammable? If it is flammable, then it's garbage. It's not really protecting you in any way, but it's supposed to melt. So let's see if these cheap disposable masks or your disposable masks that you have bought a box, probably $20 for 50 of them, you can just take one mask and do the same test. And look at that. It's, it's, fi it's not catching on fire. A little bit dripped, but they said, like, I don't know if you could see it, it's kinda, it's melting. It's doing exactly what so the purpose of this video 
is basically just to show you of the four different tests for the mask to see if it's a quality mask, you're most likely getting them at Walgreens or at Home Depot or wherever they are uh, selling these masks. So I just wanted to make a quick video and show you, like I was shocked. I honestly didn't think my masks would pass any of the tests except for the nose uh, part. But anyway, you can, if you have a pair of scissors and you have a lighter and you have a, um, a disposable mask or a bunch of them, take one and, and test them out yourself. I'll be sticking with this brand because it passes all the tests. Now this is in no way does this mean that the, the mask is, you know, rated for surgery rooms or anything like that? That's not what I'm trying to say. What I'm trying to say is, according to a German company, Trotec, who makes the masks, these are four ways they said they could test them. 